I think it's already got one of yours. Which words are you reading, if you don't mind me asking? Give me one second. Because Mark 13, 32, if I remember, it says, Nobody knows the hour, not the angels in heaven, not the sun, except so the Father Luke. in heaven. Okay, so I'm going to read Luke 8. So nothing to do with this context, or it's got to do with this context? No, it is. You, know, you keep interjecting. I said already, I'm asking you. It's not interjecting. And I said, I'm going to explain that, that Yahushua always speaks in parables to people. Well, I have no doubt about that. Okay, so you're, you're telling me what something means, so I'm going to show you something he says. So bear me a second. But you're going to show me a parable which has got nothing to do with the topic. Right, I allowed I, him all I, this time I, to speak. I, I, you see, you're trying to win an argument. If you're right about something, no, I don't no, care. This, this is, this, so this is now... To, I'm trying to explain... <laughs> unnecessary. Win an I'm argument, trying, seriously? I'm trying to explain. Okay, I know he says he speaks in parables. So, so there's a difference so, between sticking to the topic... Do you want me to walk away? Because you can just talk to somebody well, you're else. You're always free mind. to walk away anytime, okay, Jay. I never okay. hold you back. So do you want me to answer your question? Because I'm trying to show you... You're something. going to answer my question? Yes. Yeah. Do you remember my question? That he was either lying or he was wrong about saying about the son and, this, and yeah, I said to Mark you, 13, 32. And I said Carry to on you now. that he speaks in parables. I know that already. He speaks in parables. Go on. I'm to go on, Jay, go on. Just try to face the, okay. Go on. So. Yes. Okay. So, he starts by saying, so this is Mark. I'm just going to read it in its context, okay? Sure. Um, Luke 8, 4. And when much people were gathered together and were, were come to him out of every city, he spake a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it, and some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was uh, sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it, and choked it, and other fell on good ground, and sprang up, and bare fruit a hundredfold, and when he said these things, he cried, he that have ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said unto them, unto, uh, He said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of Yahuwah, but to, but to others in parables that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. So, he is saying to them that many people will come and hear things that he has said mm -hmm. in the scriptures to say, It means this, it means that. It's because it's not being given to them to understand. So, you need to know, when you're reading the scripture, you need to know when Yahushua is speaking the parable, what does he mean? Because it's not just black and white. That's what I'm saying. That wasn't my question, right? So that's why I'm saying, in Good. relation to you saying, when he said no one knows, he is speaking about, in the role of the son, it is not for him to say, because he's in that role of the son. That still doesn't answer my question, so, my friend. It does, because it he's doesn't. still Yahuwah. My question is, when Jesus says, nobody knows the hour, not the son, except the father, yes? Clearly, even if it was a parable, what does a parable mean? You know, every it's parable, not, not you're talking now to, while I'm talking. It's not giving him to Let say. me finish. Sorry, I'll let you finish. Apologies, sorry, okay. Sorry. So when there is a parable, you know, by the way, Jesus did speak literally many times. He spoke in parables many times. Not every time he spoke was in parables. Do we agree upon that? Well, that would be contradicting the scripture. But no, to, when, every, are you people, saying that every no, time Jesus he, spoke, oh, it was always no. in parables? Is that what you're telling me? No, what I'm saying to you, when he spoke to people, yes. like many people that didn't understand, yeah, he spoke in a lot of parables. Not every single time, no. Thank you. So not every time he spoke in parables. Yeah, so you need now, to in this instance, yeah. what was the question asked to him? Huh? What was the question asked to him? He said, do you know the hour? Which hour? When the end will come. Good. So nothing about wedding, yeah? Yeah, it is. You have to when you when somebody asks you when is the last no, hour? You ask me about my scripture. When I tell you something, you'll tell me no, it's not. No, but okay, an hour. Okay, you, okay. The last hour, okay. the day of judgment, is nothing to do with the wedding. Yeah, it is. is it? It's the, because it is because the bride, which is the assembly, which is the believers, will then receive the bridegroom. You don't know the scripture. That's what I'm trying to say. Wait, to you. wait, wait. Before you say, I don't know the scripture. Read the scripture. So when Jesus was asked about the final hour, yes. The question is this now, I want you to answer this without evading it because you evaded it earlier. Did, it. Jesus know, did Jesus know the hour or not? Jesus didn't know the hour. He, he did said, or he did not? He didn't know the hour. He did know the hour. I told you, you answered the parable, he is Yahuwah. Yeah. The spirit in him is Yahuwah. The spirit in him. But as the son, okay, he's in the role of the son, he cannot reveal certain is things. Is the son the father? So he did, Yes, he's a father. Infinite. Okay, so you're not a mainstream Christian because mainstream no, no Christians. Trinity, I don't believe in the Trinity. I didn't say you believed in that. I said the okay. mainstream Christians they believe that the father is not the son. Let me ask you that: if you believe, if you believe using your argument that the father and the son are the same person, am I right? 
the father and the son are the same person. Yeah. Who died on the cross? Ah, the body. Whose body? The body. Whose body? The body. Whose body? The body. Yeah, but whose body? Yahusha, the body. The died. fathers or the sons? The body died. It's Yahusha, it's the son. Do you not the understand body. my Yahuwah question? Is, Yahuwah is spirit, he can't die. I, I didn't tell you so you're how Yahusha. he died in spirit or in body. Okay. I asked you whose body let me, let me, let is the know. one? Is it the father's body or is the me, son's body? Me, you're trying to lead me down the path. I'm trying to answer. The you way see, I this, on, this is I what you say. Okay. You're you don't know the scripture. You're leading down the path. <laughs> all these accusations, you know, I don't want all these ad hominems. Just answer the question, my friend. I did not make assumptions. No, you it's not about, no, no, it's not about calm. You, you it's about you making assumptions you, no, about no, no, me. No, no, you want me yes? to answer a certain What did way? Jesus say? Okay. Remove the lock from your own eye first. Before you judge other people. You, Thou shalt not judge. Just, just you but you have judged me so many times no, now in this conversation. Not, said, no, we have seen that. He said, he said, do not judge by the appearance. Brother Jay, simple question. Whose body died on the cross? The fathers or the sons? I told you, the son. But hold on, you said they're the same. So why are you saying the son now? No, well, the sun was in the you said they are the same. Why are you saying the sun's body now? Because the sun represents the body, the, body. the flesh. Yes. So the, the sun flesh. died? The sun represents the body. I know. The flesh. Does that mean the sun you died? Me a question. I'm, I'm asking me a question. Yes. I know. The flesh. This is the so second question now. Oh, Does did the sun die and the father did not die? Is that what you're telling me? I'm telling you what? that the flesh, which is the body, because the father, Yahuwah, is a spirit, mm -hmm. so the body had to be given up. To whom? The body to whom? had to be given up. To whom? What do you mean to whom? The body, okay. Who had the body? Just you keep, you know, let me speak, you keep asking me a question, then after a question, after a question. Go, I need to clarify. No, 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 you need to clarify. Everybody I don't need to clarify, wow. Because I, well, you can clarify if you I can't read your mind, Jay. I need to clarify. You stop talking, I can't I read your mind. Look, you are blocking, you're not giving him a chance. It's alright, it's alright. By the way, nobody else is speaking, why are you all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be it's just the two of us. Hey, be respectful. I am being respectful. Be, Come be, on. I'm saying Compared to the guy who judged me three times already, I'm being pretty respectful. You, no, because you don't know the scripture. That's why I'm asking you to clarify. Well, you're not. <laughs> you see what I mean? Well, you're not. But he's saying, don't ask. I didn't say don't okay, ask. Once I said, again, let, I said, let me speak. Whose body died on the cross? No, okay. I'm not going to. I've already answered that question. Okay, the I'm sons. Gonna you told me the gonna sons. Gonna you're going to do something. Yeah, go on, speak. I'm going to speak. So, speaking for ages. So, the understanding is very straightforward. Yahusha, who is the son, had to come the body, fill, fill, fill the prophecies, so he's walking, the father in himself in his role fully as the father mm -hmm. can do anything he wants, but as the son he was bound by prophecy because he had to follow all the prophecies that was written in the Old Testament when he came into the new, he had to do all those things. One of those things ended with him being bruised and beaten and the body itself because Yahuwah who is a spirit doesn't have blood because he's a spirit. So the body, the only thing righteous to forgive sin is the most high. But blood is the only thing that can remove sin. So he has to put on a body to bleed to remove that sin because he doesn't have blood. So the body in itself is referred to as the son in that instance, which is his word. Right. So the son, in effect, is the word of Yahuwah. The word. What he speaks, that is the son. The word does all the work. Because if Yahuwah came here in his fullness, we would all die because he's 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So the word in its essence is the sun. Okay. Yeah, that's the word. And now, how? Wait for a second. Okay. So in the scripture, when it says the word, okay, the, sorry, the word was made flesh. The word was made flesh. Yes. So the word. John 1. So the word, separate from that body, is still the flesh. It's the doing part of Yahuwah. That is the sun, because the sun still exists. Okay. The sun existed way before. So the sun in itself is the word. The word, which is still Yahuwah, was manifested and was given a body right. so that it could bleed blood to remove the sin of all mankind. In other words, that's simple. Okay, so in other words, so the sun is the word. Yeah, I, I got it. Came so in, in other words, without the human sacrifice, you wouldn't be forgiven. Not human sacrifice. You doesn't believe in human. Sacrifice. So who died on the cross? A human or as God? As I said, as I said, yes. Who doesn't believe in sacrifice? It's in the scriptures that no sacrifice. He himself came, put on a body. But in scripture, only blood can remove sin because he's bound by whose him. blood? Only blood. Whose blood? Only blood. Yeah, I know. God. Look, in the Old Testament, that was the animal blood. And, and so in the New Testament, it is either human blood or it is God blood. Which one is it? So, in the, in the Old Testament, they had animal sacrifices. But again, in the New Testament, it says yes. that the bloods of bulls and goats was not sufficient enough to remove sin. Hence, whose blood? So, Yahuwah, the Creator, had to put on a body. That is, he's, Yahuwah doesn't need a physical body to live. I didn't ask if he so needs to live, but he needs it to forgive. So what I'm saying is, 
He put on the no. He needed blood. It contains blood. Whose blood, my friend? In the New Testament. Why you don't want to answer that question? What do you mean? You see, you so, you so, accepted very no, quickly. No, no, no. Human or God is asked. Yeah. Is he human or God? You, you God see, the I don't know, Jay. You accepted very divine. very quickly. It's Jay, it's divine. Jay, you accepted very quickly that in the Old Testament it was the animal blood. No, it's you see, you did not hesitate at all to answer that. Who is blood? Who is Yeah, but is it the son or the father? Which one? The same. I told you this. What I just say? Let me let me say it again. Let me say it again. Go on. You've got Yahuwah who is the spirit. No, no, I, I understand how it no, works. All I'm asking is, I'm, I'm, speaking, I'm not speaking for you. I'm speaking for everybody. I'm reclaiming, reaffirming. But you, are, you have to answer I the question I'm asking you. Okay, so let Simple me question. Let me reaffirm, please. Okay? You want so, to repeat yourself? Let me reaffirm. Yeah, I, I want to okay. I already explained it. No, no, no. I already explained it. If so, I didn't understand, you can so repeat you yourself, but then ask you to repeat it. So you who are. He already had a chance. He's repeating himself now. Oh, he comes another guy now. No, no, no. It's all love, man. There was a lady here who's been disturbing us. Now comes a guy. It's all love. It's all love. I'm not here to. No. Well, if it's love, answer the question with love. I'm, I'm asking it again, so I want to be clear because I've already explained. No, no. Who's blood? So, in the Old Testament, so animal blood. In so the New Testament, so who's blood? Okay. That's the question I need I'm to you to answer. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Blood. You're asking about I know what he's asking. He's going to explain who's the, the father, who's the, who's the son, who's the spirit, who's the flesh. We've heard that already, my friend. No, I'm trying Jay, to explain. All I'm asking is whose blood was spilled on the cross? Okay. Either a human or a god. So Yahusha, who is the word? Yeah. Human or god? Whose blood? By the farm. But it's, well, it's the creator. Human the or God? Who's so let me blood, whose blood was spilled? Can you answer that, sir? No, no, no. no. I've already answered it. Already yeah, answered is it, it a human or God? Whose blood was spilled? Was Yahusha human? That's the yes. question I need to ask well, you. Well, yes. He was in body form. Yes. So it was a human, right? Yeah. Good. In human, in human form. Yeah. In human form. I wait, agree. He's, but he's not like, wait, wait, wait. wait. So. At least he's answering unlike you. So in, <laughs> in what, I'm saying, what I'm asking this gentleman here, because he said, Jesus, Yahusha. the son, Jesus, the son. Yahusha. Well, yeah. Okay, you want to call him Yahusha? That's fine. Okay, okay no, no problem. Yahusha, the son. Yeah. Yes. And the father. What's the father's name? Yahuwah. Yahweh? Yahuwah. 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 Is that in the New Testament? What? The term Yahuwah. Yahuwah is not, in the... Yeah, it's, it's, it's not DJ. It's Give me your point. The term is not in the New Testament. That's what I'm asking you. The not. father, that's, the term Yahuwah or Yahweh, which you're Yahweh. 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 Yeah, that is not in the New Testament. Uh, why? Find it. Yeah, stay on point. Stay on Find point. Stay on point. Find it. Any, any place where yeah. Okay, okay, stay on point. Okay. Stay on point. Okay. Wait, no, no, wait, no, no. Don't let him deviate. Now, now the point. question is this: Whose blood was it? Yahusha or Yahuwah? Whose blood was on the cross? This guy. Whose blood was spilled on the cross? I said that already. It did. Yahusha. Good. So it was not Yahweh's or Yahuwah's blood. It was Yahusha, which is the son. Not the father's oh, blood, in, but the son's blood. Am I right? In your mind, he is a son. He is the broad fort of Yah. He is, is the he word. He is, he is the, the word. word. Is he not the son? Which is the John 3.16, let he me remind you. the manifestation of John 3.16 like says us. what? He's, a, he's the begotten one. Begotten. Yeah, begotten what? No, begotten, wait, wait, begotten what, my begotten friend? Son. Thank you very much. Yeah, but so don't say he's not the son. No. Your not. Bible says he's the son. He's still thinking. No, no, I'm not Seriously, th man. I'm not thinking. You are. You're I'm, thinking. Whose blood am I talking about? Because... That's entrapment. Don't get, don't get, it's don't not entrapment. It's a simple question. No. You know, if I ask you, this is genuine. This is genuine. You want to get me to say what? No, no, no. I don't want you to say to anything other than the truth, my friend. Well, I genuine. want you to say the truth. That's all. You're not even allow me. You're talking over me. Come no, on. Let's, no, that's the let's same excuse you make. Let's yeah. Okay. So, so let's like converse. Converse. Okay. Let's have a conversation. Let me ask you a question and you answer. You asked me a question already. What is the question? And I'm. We are going to answer now. Whose blood was shed? And I'm trying to explain to you. And you cut in when I try to pause to give you the right answer. My apologies if that was the case, but please carry please. on. Carry on. Just, we just answer this and let's move on because we've already said it's the son who is the word and he's teach, he doesn't understand. If it is the son, I'm, I'm okay with that. No, just say it. Who is the word? Okay, so. Who is understand. the rock, the spirit? Right. Who is the manifestation of Yah in the earth? Right. Because only Yah can forgive sin. Okay. He said this. But so, the, sorry, and I already mm -hmm. explained yeah. that obviously you just speaks a lot of parables, but it's like speaking when you're speaking to someone with the scripture, Dark it has things. to be revealed. Yes. It has to be revealed. It's not just the letter on the surface. Okay. It has to be so revealed. I did let you speak. You want to carry on further or you are, you, you have done with your answer? I'm finished. Because you say I'll interrupt answer. you otherwise. Okay. The question was very simple. How this started was with Mark 13, 32, when Jesus says, nobody knows the hour, not the angels in heaven, not the sun. Yes. Which I believe is Yahusha. Yes. Should be his word. Not the, not the son, heaven. yeah, wait, not the angels, not wait, wait, the son, except the only the Father in heaven. Right. Yes? 
Now, we make a clear distinction between the son and the father in that particular passage. So the father knows the hour, the you son... make a clear distinction? Yeah, between That's the two so, entities, wait, 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 the father and the son, Mark 13, 32. Okay. Okay. Yes? So, now, let me finish the Mark, question, and then you can, I'll let you speak. No, there, there's a point. point. What's the point? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's Mark sorry. chapter 13, verse 32. There's a point there that you, you, you put forth. Yeah, which is? And it, is, it would make people believe that there is two entities. That would be sacrilege. That would be idolatry. Why is that? Because there is only one Alwa. There's only one creator. So one when he creator. says the son doesn't know, what do you understand by that? You see, you need an answer. Do you mind if I get an answer from this gentleman? Uh, he's okay. going to answer. He's going to answer you. Yeah, but yeah. Why, what is your answer? Oh, he's oh. got his chance. What is your answer? I'm no, 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 to no, make no. a point and you're still on and on. Gonna, gonna, so okay, you okay, said he's going to answer I'm going to reach you. I'm going to reach you. I'm going to reach you. Okay, read, like read the words. Yeah, go on. Yeah, sure, sure. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. Yeah. No man. No man. No one. No, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the son but the father. All right? So, I'm going to add to this, because in scripture it says you have to go here a little, there a little. So I'm going to confirm something, okay? <laughs> so, we're going to go now to Isaiah. Oh, we're going to the Old Testament. Now, no, no, based no, no, no. on that passage itself, oh, can you please answer the question? Who doesn't no, know no, the no. hour? Don't answer and who knows the answer? Don't answer anything. I'm so, talking so to you. So now you're dictating to the old gentleman. No, you won't let me Whom you told me to respect earlier. Are you just going to jump in over it? I'm, you, I'm, answering, I'm going here to answer in the scripture. Chance, please. I'm going to finish, I'm going to go. Because okay. I don't want to... I don't want to... All I'm asking is... Conversation. No, sure. Not all I need is the truth. We're sharing the truth. We're yeah, exactly. Fight. We're only sharing the so, truth. But you're not allowing the truth. So Yahusha, so Yahusha is the word. So Yahuwah says, Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that go forth out, from out of out my, my mouth. mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Yeah. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right. So again, we're seeing here that the word is not something separate from Yahuwah. And now I'm going to clarify where Yahuwah says the word Mark is. Mark 13, 32, clarify that. So, in relation to that, the word that's been sent forth, okay, is still part of Yahuwah. As I said to you before, the understanding of that scripture, it is not for the Son to reveal anything to you, because he is not in the role of the father. Where does it say that in the Bible? I'm explaining to you what that scripture no, means. No, no, where does it say in the Bible, I'm the son is not allowed to reveal anything to you? Where does no, it say that? I said to you. You made an assertion, No, I didn't back make an up. assertion. I already backed it up when I said to you, it's what? talking about the marriage ceremony, where you said, no, it's not. I said, yes, it is. And I said to you, Isaac, for example, Abraham sent the servant to go and get Isaac's wife. That's right. not in the... So, Yes, he Nothing did. to do with Mark 13 no, to no, no, 30, that's, that's you know, what you're, wait, that's wait, wait, what you're why saying. Why are you shouting? Come that's down. What Mark no, no, 13 no, no, no. 32 this clearly is, says the son knows saying. the hour. The this father doesn't. Saying. Sorry, the son doesn't know so, the hour. The father knows the so hour. I'm saying to you, no man, so no I'm angel, you, no son, so I'm except you, the father. Very clear. So I'm saying to you. Now, if you want to, if you want to obfuscate that by saying. Oh, this is about a marriage so ceremony. It's not about a marriage so ceremony. It's saying, about the last hour. So I'm saying to you, in relation to yeah, the marriage. That's all it is. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. So I already said to him, he doesn't keep receive, repeating he doesn't receive about it. A marriage. He doesn't receive it. Nothing about a marriage now, in there. The bridegroom is yeah. Yahusha. The bride, which is the assembly, which is the believer, that's what it is. So oh, the father, yeah. in the last hour, the bridegroom will be given his bride. So when you look at Hebrews, the history, for example, Isaac. His father sent a servant to go and find his bride. Isaac didn't know when the bride was coming. Hence why Yahushua said, I go to prepare a place for you. The same thing that Isaac was doing when he was waiting for his bride. He was preparing a place for her. The same thing that happened, Jacob went. He was sent to go and find the wife. The same thing happened. So about the last hour, my friend. You can so, go on about a marriage, about a bride, about a so bridegroom. Mate, so, it's about so, the last hour. So to clarify, Does Jesus know or not? Hold on. So that's the marriage. I let him speak for no, quite a while no, now. I, I let him speak. I okay? Because you're repeating yourself. I've already heard you the I first time. I right? I when you were not here, he's already repeated this particular, uh, what he says, what narrative what earlier. The question it, is very simple. The, the no, question that was asked what? to Jesus was about the last hour. Does he know the last because hour or not? No, he, he clearly he says he doesn't it. know, only the Father knows. Now, if you guys don't want to answer that, that's up to you. Okay, but what I know here clearly is that Jesus said he didn't know the hour, only the Father knows. That is what I understand from that Mark 13, 30, 32 passage. So, because when okay. you go here, Jesus explained that. Also. When you go here, when you go and you say here, so is, here is a little, there a little. Prove to me what he says afterwards. From I must go and prepare yeah. a place for you. Now that in Hebrew culture is what they would. 
himself is the rock, is the, the, the spirit. Okay. Of when you the look but that wasn't my question. My question for you to prove is this: Did Jesus, when he was here during his ministry, did he know the last hour or not? What? Yeshua, Yahusha. This is not semantics. You know that. You know what I mean by Jesus, and you know what I mean when I say that. Um, because you would, okay, shall we say the sun? You, no, if a person, shall no we use the term sun? If I, if I, I call you, yeah. Kishen, would you answer? Kishen? Uh -huh. No, I wouldn't. Because it's not your name. And I say yes. to you, if everybody says, <laughs> and, if I say to you and now, if the so question is, the, the question is this, the, bride, call, the, bride, the, the question is this, if, if, I, if I say the sun, is that okay for you? Muhammad, that the bride by another name. I get you. I get your understanding. So, so the the question is this: Is it okay if I call him the sun? Shall I call him the sun for you? Is that okay? The sun. Did the sun know the hour? Because the sun, you, you've already reiterated from scripture yeah. that the sun won't know the hour. He did or did not know the hour? He did not know the hour that the Father. So I'm trying to show to you who is the Father. Okay, go on, show to me who's the Father. Um, so because you're, you're saying the Father is the Son, is that what you're trying to say? Uh, hold on, I'm trying to show to you who is the Father. Yeah, that's right. You will determine. Go on, show, show me the Father is the, son, is, not, is the Son. I didn't tell you the Father is the Son. I'm trying to let you see for yourself whether... Who is who is the father? Why are we not answering a simple question? This is the second time. It's the second time I asked you. First I asked you who's hold on. I put whose blood was spilled. You didn't want to answer that very straightforward. The second question was who I who is the one who uh, who is the one who doesn't know the hour? I wouldn't bother. He's just trying. He's not interested. It's okay. I think he's a grown man. He can answer by himself. No problem. We don't need your we don't need your help, Jay. That's fine. You did the same thing last time. You evaded the question. I didn't run away. Yes, you evaded the question. You evaded the question. So I would. I'm just saying. What I see is butting on a stone wall because of what you believe. What you believe. Thou shalt not judge. No, I, well, you call me a stone wall. <laughs> I did not call you a stone wall. It's like talking to a stone what wall. What is your name? He didn't say that. What did he, say that? he didn't imply that? <laughs> okay, my apologies if he didn't, but that's how it came across to me. I'm not calling you a stone wall, but... Who is a stone wall there, in your... There's more friction than a flow. Yeah, you know why that is, my friend? I know why that is. Because uh, when you that's, ask a that's simple that's question, and you go about beating it on the bush, for a very simple question, who didn't know the hour? That's who knew the hour? Whose blood was spilled? Whose blood wasn't spilled? That's when is a simple question? It's not entrapment. A simple question. When it is not understood, you ask a person. Please explain to me. To explain okay, so explain to, to me any so I'm scripture. Trying, I'm I'll tell you what. Trying to explain. You show me with any other scripture where Jesus says that he knows the last hour. Go on. Yeshua, Yahushua, Yahushua knows the last hour. Cameras here. Yes. And if you rewind, they will tell you that I did agree with you that the son, who is Yahusha walking in the flesh, yeah. didn't know the hour. Thank you. It wasn't. That's all I needed he, to know. He didn't know the hour. Yeah. So hold on. And who knew the hour? We know who didn't know the hour now. Tell me who knew the hour. Listen, why Again, a simple the same scripture again? Because it's very important we know because, because that is a topic you, that we you, started with. Yeah. Well, All I need is topic you started with. Yes. And I start to show you now from scripture who is the father. I'm showing you gone. Okay. Uh, So the son didn't know the hour. That has been confirmed. Alhamdulillah, at last. Because that was a key question asked from Mark 13, 32. And the guy went on, the, the groom. Okay. Sorry, I'm just talking to my friend while you're finding yeah, the verse. No, no, yeah? Found it, yeah. yeah, You found it? Good. Yeah. Go on. But while... Which, sorry, which uh, reference is that? What was the this reference? Is Matthew 1, verse 20. Okay, good. Matat Yahu 1, verse 20. Mm -hmm. But while he taught about this see a messenger from Yodei Wahe appeared to him in a dream saying Yahusef son of Dawid do not be afraid to take Miriam as your wife it says would have been Asha for that which is in her was brought forth from the set apart rock the set apart spirit so the spirit 
that caused something to happen in her womb. Are you talking about Mary, yeah? In the womb of Mary? Mary yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mary. So uh, the spirit, sorry, what? It says... In simple terms, what does it mean? So the spirit caused her to become pregnant. Okay. With, this, with the broad fourth one who is called Yahusha. Okay. And she shall give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Yodhi Washan Ayan, which means Yahusha, Yahuwah who saved. He shall, for he shall save or Yasha his people from their lawlessness, their sin. Is that in the verse? That's in the verse, yeah? That's, that's what is there. Okay, so what is the point of this, what he just said? Uh, well, uh, I was saying to you earlier, yeah. you, you forget what I told you about. No, no, you said you were going to show us who's the father. Yeah, Yes. and uh, it, it shows there that the Ruach Hakadosh, the spirit, that caused Mary, Miriam to be pregnant, is his father. Okay, did it mention the father in there? Or it mentioned the spirit? There's a clear explanation there. It's a simple if question. I, if I lay with my wife, and she gets pregnant. Yeah. That child is my. Yeah, I understand. Child. I understand what you're saying. But did did they mention in that particular passage the father is the one who made her pregnant, or does it just say the spirit made her pregnant? It's the spirit that made her pregnant. Okay, so when you say the spirit, it is the father or the Holy Spirit, or you don't believe in the Holy Spirit? Oh, it's the same thing. I don't know. Because I get so many different kinds of Christians. I have to ask this question. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the Spirit and you are asking No, no. Me because many people don't believe that the Holy Spirit is the Father. No, no, no. That's why I'm asking just, you to clarify. I just to you that the rock, the Holy Spirit, the set-apart Spirit. Okay. So it's the Holy is Spirit, father, not the Father. Okay. Is his father. Does it say the Holy Spirit is his Father? Yeah. Okay, yeah. no problem. <laughs> What's your okay. name, my friend? Um, oh, I didn't tell him my name. No, you didn't. You have to tell me yours. Friend. My name is Hashim. Hashim. I'm Martin. Martin. Yeah. All right, Martin? Okay. If, Pleasure. Before you go, one question. No, you know, no, earlier no question. when we were saying because who died on the cross, you guys didn't answer that question yet. Who died on the cross? Whether it is the father or the son, who died? Who died on the cross? Yes. <laughs> That's going to take us again round and round. So it's not a simple question, it's a tough one? It's, it's simple. Then answer a simple answer. The Messiah. The Son. The Messiah. The Son, right? The, 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 fourth one. the Son. The word Son doesn't equate. You said yourself the Son was born by the Spirit. Ruach Kodesh. Remember? Yeah. Come on, stick your son, lines, Martin. Son. The Son died, right? Did I say Son? Yes, yes, you said Son. It's on the camera. You can go home and record it. <laughs> Sorry, go and watch now it. Now you remember. Go and watch now it. you remember. I remember Listen, the discussion. Brought forth what? Yes. Brought forth what? And I'm saying... You know, semantics the ben, at the end of the day. Ben. It's all semantics. Okay. So basically, somebody died on the cross. It is definitely not the father. Am I right? So you said it's the son, indirectly even. The question is it's this. definitely not the father. Unless you're telling me the father died on the cross. Definitely. That's, that's why I was trying to show it to you. That he took a body form. So while he was walking, it's like, okay, you are inside this coat. Yeah, the coat is not me. The coat is not... I know where you're going. You. Yes. Huh? But the coat is not a person. But the father and the son are a person, according to you guys. You're answering, you're, you're, you're answering your own question. You're not giving me a chance. No, I gave you a chance. It was a very simple question. You no, said it yourself. It was simple. But I'm explaining to you, and you've gone way over my head now. Okay. You've not given us chance. Maybe it would have been fruitful. You give us chance. I gave you, I gave you ample opportunities to answer this same question earlier. Yeah, but, but you always go around beating around the bush like your friend over there. He went into some marriage thing, a bride and a bridegroom. Yeah, By the listen, way, if listen. G. Do you understand what that means? Though? We, yes. yes. It feels like that since I've been standing here, that you've just been dismissing that the whole time, and he has been saying, trying to explain yeah. that. So you, are you prepared to understand? I have that understood means? what he said. However. The question that was asked to Jesus was not about a marriage. The question was, what is the last, when is the last hour? And Jesus said very clearly, he read the passage well, in Mark 13, 32. If you don't mind, sir, if I'm, I'll answer the lady's yeah. question. In Mark 13, he says, no man knows the hour. Yes, not the angels in heaven, not the son, except the father, only the father. Yes, so he makes a distinction and between the men. You're doing it again, sir. You're, you're interrupting. You told us not to interrupt again. Oh, sorry. Now you're basically sorry, sorry. not practicing what you're preaching. Talk. Let me not talk over you. All right. Ma not, Ma Martin, thank you very much for your cooperation. What I'm saying is that Jesus says, 
The men don't know. No man knows the hour. No angel knows the hour. The son doesn't know the hour. Only the father knows the hour. Do you see the distinction that is made between the father and the rest of the creation? Or the rest of the, the, the people besides the, the father? If it says the son doesn't know and the father knows, we know there is a distinction in the knowledge at least, if not the person. Even if you say the father is the same person as the son, we have a clear distinction between the knowledge that the son possesses during his ministry and the father who always was omniscient, always was all-knowing. Yes? Even if you say that the father and the son did not die on the cross and it was the flesh that died on the cross, the question is this, is the flesh God? Yes, the flesh which died on the cross, is it God? You see what I mean? Yeah. So if it is not God, and I'm sure none of you will say it is God because God doesn't die. We know God is immortal. Yes? So the question, the ultimate question that the Muslims will ask you is this. If you claim that you cannot be forgiven without the shedding of blood, yes? Whose blood was spilled? That is, that is the reason I asked you. Exactly. So if it is just the body that died and the body that is the one that spilled the blood, the final conclusion is this that neither the father nor the son died for you. It is the body which was neither the father nor the son in essence died for you. You see what I mean? So who spilled the blood for you? Someone who is known God. Yes, unless you're telling me God spilled his blood. Brothers and sisters, Allahu Akbar, thanks to your tremendous support, we have, Alhamdulillah, paid the final installment for this huge masjid property and now we need your support to convert this 2700 square meters building into the most amazing islamic center in the country of norway inshallah but bro this does not look like a masjid it looks like a wedding home and that's exactly what this is brothers and sisters we need your support to reconstruct this wedding hall into a masjid and community center so we can have our prayer hall for us to establish salah five times a day, an indoor playground for the kids to nurture love for the house of Allah, a conference hall for lectures and reminders about Islam. We need classrooms for education, a library to study, a gym for exercise, and a soup kitchen to help the poor and needy. If you support us, even with a small sadaqa, you will inshallah harvest a reward for all of these facilities and the khair that they generate throughout the years, all the way until the day we meet Allah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, whoever builds a masjid for the sake of Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. So what are you waiting for? Click the button to donate and share the video for extra rewards.